In today's show, it's time to look forward to week three in the NBA with our weekly preview. Mickey Bolton, he's here. Thanks, Josh. It's Michael Bolton here, and it's time for another episode of the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Indeed. You are Locked On Fantasy Basketball, your daily fantasy basketball podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast brought to you by Basketball Monster. My name is Josh Lloyd and I am the lead fantasy analyst at BasketballMonster.com and at Yahoo Sports Australia. And you can find me on Twitter as always at RedRock underscore Beeble and on Instagram at Locked On Fantasy Basketball. Today, we're looking ahead to week three. Players to start, players to sit, how the schedule goes, streaming plans, all of that stuff. Today's episode is Brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's has been proudly serving communities since 1965. McDonald's has always been more than a place to get tasty, affordable food. It's a place where friends and family from the community can come together. Big thank you to our friends at McDonald's for always being there. I'm loving it. Thank you also for making the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast your first listen every day. We are free and available on all platforms. I'm recording this now and I just had this thought... Did I do my actual intro normally? Did I forget to say all that stuff? I, it's so autopilot to say the intro that I don't, don't even remember if I did it. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll find out later on. Um, all right, let's talk. Week three in the NBA. It is a very, very even schedule. 16 teams play four games. 14 teams play three games. No two-game weeks, no five-game weeks. Basically split right down the middle, as Obi tells me he's upset with that. The following teams play four games. The Spurs, the Clippers, the Wizards, Cavs, Blazers, Pacers, Knicks, 76ers, Rockets, Celtics, Jazz, Kings, Hornets, Raptors, Magic, and Hawks all play four. And that leaves the Lakers, Nuggets, Warriors, Suns, Bulls, Pistons, Pelicans, Thunder, Nets, Heat, Wolves, Bucks, Mavericks, and Grizzlies to play three games. So it is really, really even across the board here. When you've got half of the teams playing the four games, it becomes it becomes very interesting in terms of you know some of your start sit decisions decisions for the week. But you know, that it's not there's no gigantic standout team to look at for weekly leagues or to sit for weekly leagues because there's no you know three game scenarios or anything along those lines. So let's have a look now at how the schedule actually breaks down for the week. We've got nine games on a Monday. We've got five on a Tuesday. A big 11 boy on the Wednesday. Five on the Thursday. Nine on the Friday. Six on the Saturday and eight on the Sunday. Now, usually I look at days where there are eight or fewer games on. And they're the, they're the streaming days. But a lot of the times on a nine game day, you can do it as well. So potentially we can stream on six days this week. In terms of looking at my streaming, I'm probably just going to stick to my usual eight or fewer. So Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, but Monday and Friday are possibilities. Now, if you do have that ability to stream in on Monday, Friday, that means there's six days for the week. Wednesday, we can write off. There's six days for the week. In general, you won't have six ads for the week. So you've got to be really cautious about about how you're using, um, about how you're using your ads for this week. You've got to be really, really cautious about that. And I think... What's important to note is if you do have abilities on that Monday and Friday, which teams don't play the Wednesday so that they become a really, really interesting stream day. And these are the teams that don't play on Wednesday. The Rockets, the Utah Jazz, the Lakers don't play on the Wednesday, the Suns, the Pistons, the Thunder, the Heat, and the Bucks. They all don't play on the Wednesday. So they're... Every one of their games this week could theoretically be streamable. But that's how the schedule looks out. Again, when I'm looking at my stream this week, I'm mainly going to be looking at Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, with a potential on Monday and the potential on Friday uh, to produce uh, produce options for daily changes leagues. So when we look at the schedules, the Rockets and the Jazz have, you know, this is not including Monday and Friday as streaming days, the Rockets and the Jazz have the best setup. They have all four of their games are on the low volume days. So the Rockets play Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, as do the Jazz. 
So you add a Rockets, and we'll talk about this more in a second, you add a Rockets or Jazz guy, and you can use them for the four games with one ad. The Lakers, Suns, Pistons, Thunder, Heat, Bucks, they have only three games this week, but all three of those games are on the low volume days. Now, there are no four game teams that only have two quality games, which is interesting. And there are no three game teams that only have one quality game. So again, really, really interesting way that this has all been you know, structured for the NBA this week with that you know, that nine game you know, nine game maximum on every day apart from Wednesday. So you're really in a situation where you know, it's all about playing the days and how your individual roster looks versus you know, big blanket statements right across the board. And I think that is really important to pay attention to. But all of the Rockets games, all of the Jazz games, all of the Lakers, Suns, Pistons, Thunder, Heat, and Bucks games, all of those games fall on days where you're likely going to be able to you know, put them into your active lineup or stream players from that team. So, you know, the Rockets guys, you're looking at maybe it's a Daniel Tice or an Eric Gordon for the Jazz. Yeah, Joe Ingles might be available. Royce O'Neal. The Lakers, you're looking at Mallow. You're looking at John Ray Jordan or Dwight Howard for big men stats. The Suns, it's Crowder. It's Cam Johnson. Um, the Pistons, you're looking at Kelly Olynyk if he was dropped, even though he should be rostered regardless. Maybe it's Josh Jackson that you throw in there. Uh, Killian Hayes for streaming. For the Thunder, you've got so many options. <laughs> Working out who they're going to be each time is pretty tough. But Dort and Baisley, who aren't must-roster category league guys, they have value. The Heat, you're looking at maybe a Markeith Morris in a deeper format. Uh, maybe a PJ Tucker in a very deep format. And the Bucks, you're looking at you know, your Paddy Connertons. You're looking at your Punch Bob shit blokes. Um, you're looking at Jordan Wara, Grayson Allen, those sort of players for the upcoming week. Now let's, before we get on to the next section, again, today's show is brought to you by McDonald's. We all have memories of McDonald's in our life. It's not just that place to get tasty, affordable food. It's more than that. It's a place that we all know in our community. They've been proudly serving communities since 1965. People meet up there after after school. They hang out, use that reliable Wi-Fi that Macca's has um, after sport. Your parents would have t taken you there. Uh, you take your kids after their sporting achievements, reward them with a cheeseburger or a pack of nuggies or something along those lines. We all know in that road trip, you drive past the old golden arches and you go, oh, let's just pull in, let's grab a cheesy on the way through. That is what Macca's represents. So why don't you head to your local McDonald's to refuel and to reconnect. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. All right, let's move on to look at how back-to-backs go for this week. Tuesday, Thursday is, again, where there is Monday, Tuesday would could be a back-to-back -back option. There is no team that plays Monday, Tuesday, though. Tuesday, Wednesday not, doesn't really matter for back-to-backs because if you add someone for the Tuesday, Wednesday back-to-back, -back, on Wednesday, you probably can't play them. The team that falls into that category, the Sacramento Kings, they have the back-to-back -back there. The Pelicans have that back-to-back, -back, as do the Mavericks, but you're just really using them for the Tuesday. So what we're really looking at is the Tuesday-Thursday combo. And that's the Rockets and the Jazz, the Lakers, Suns, Pistons, Heat, all those teams that I mentioned already with that nice little schedule that they have. So you can add those guys for the Tuesday-Thursday back-to-back. The Thursday-Friday back-to-back, again, it's a little iffy because the Friday has nine games, but it is possible. There's only one team that has that um, Thursday-Friday combination, and that is the Detroit Pistons. Friday, Saturday, there's only one team that plays that combo, and that is the Portland Trailblazers. And then the Saturday, Sunday, there's only two teams that have the weekend back-to-back, -back, and that is the Rockets and the Jazz. So you're getting an idea, obviously, Rockets and Jazz, you're seeing those names pop up quite a lot in terms of their schedule for the week. So when we look at a streaming plan for this week, we want to start on Tuesday. Again, Monday is fine. There's no Monday, Tuesday back-to-back, -back, but you might have that room, so you sort of add what you need. But if you want to maximize your ads for the week, Tuesday is where it starts, right? The Rockets and the Jazz, those names that I mentioned already, Gordon, Tice, DJ Augustin in deeper leagues. Yeah, Shingun should be rostered already. The Jazz guys, Ingles, O'Neal, Whiteside. You have value in adding them on Tuesday and letting them sit and playing them four times during the week. That is a huge bonus. The other guys you're going to add on a Tuesday for a great start to the week, the Lakers, Suns, and Heat. They play Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So you add them on Tuesday, you get that three game, and then you can drop them after Saturday. 
and add that player on on the Sunday when there are you know, eight games on. So there's quite a lot of streaming ability and it enables you to target categories a little bit more on the Sunday. And then the Thursday, Saturday um, streaming option you can do as well is the Sixers, the Celtics, and the Hawks. That's not including some of the teams I mentioned already, like the Rockets and the Jazz, the Lakers, Suns, Heat, who play the Thursday-Sunday combo. Philadelphia, Boston, and Atlanta. Also, if you add a guy there on Thursday, you get the two games for the price of one. So we're looking at targeting early week, Rockets, Jazz, Lakers, Suns, Heat, your players from there. I would then be looking at maybe an ad on the Thursday from one of these other teams, Celtics, Sixers, Celtics, Hawks. There's three ads, and then maybe you save one for the Sunday to see exactly what you need. So I'd, I'd be looking at two ads from those five teams on a Tuesday, maybe one on the Thursday, Saturday. And it's always good to have an ad up your sleeve in case you want to use it on Sunday, but also in case a better long-term player uh, arrives for the, the week. Oh, shit, there's some long-term value here because of an injury. Alex Caruso last week, for example or a player just establishing themselves in a firm role that you want to go and add those guys irrespective of um, weekly schedule. That's important to note too. In terms of front loading, these teams don't play on the weekend. The Pistons, the Pelicans, the Wolves, and the Grizzlies do not play on the weekend. So if you've got streaming options from them, Herb Jones, Trey Murphy, Josh Jackson, Frank Jackson, Jared Vanderbilt, Naz Reed, um, Kyle Anderson... You can drop them and get other players in for the Saturday, Sunday, back-to-back. That might be a Rockets and Jazz guy, the two teams that play two games there. Whereas the Warriors and the Nets, they don't play till Wednesday. Maybe you do want to drop Jordan Poole. Struggling a bit at the moment. LaMarcus Aldridge can be a streamer. Bruce Brown can be a streamer. Patty Mills. But if you're really wanting to maximize games this week, perhaps you can drop these guys. Because they don't play till Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, you've got 11 games anyway. So you might not actually be getting useful games out of Warriors or Nets players until they play, or the Nets don't play until the Friday. They're on the Wednesday there with that 11 games. So they don't, they don't play until the Friday, and the Warriors the same. So theoretically, if you had one of those guys at the end of your bench, it's four days without you using them. And that's just, you know, that's pointless bullshit, really. Let's have a look at some um, weekly ads. And I'm going to be honest with you, with the way the schedule pans out, with the way that roster percentages are shaping out, there aren't any real absolute dog's balls standing out type players where I look, this guy must be added for this week. It's a great scenario. There's no one who I see who is rostered in under 50% using our advanced metric who should be a top 100 guy this week. So there's no one I go, man, you must add this guy for weekly leagues. It's just, it, the value just isn't really there this week. But these guys are options. Devin Vassell, all right? Lonnie Walker starting with Doug McDermott out, but Vassell should get okay minutes, help you across many categories. Luke Kennard, I wouldn't be surprised if the Clippers make a change at some point and Bledsoe or Jackson move to the bench and Kennard or Mann get more minutes. So Kennard's playing like 25, 26 a night anyway. He's got some value. If Jared Vanderbilt remains starting for the Wolves, there's value in him. And Anthony Simons is getting like 24, 25 a night. He's getting minutes at the expense of Larry Nance. And they're going more offense rather than defense in that second unit. Maybe that's somewhat because Tony Snell's been out as well, but Simons is getting good minutes. So maybe there is value in using him this week. But it is a really interesting scenario. In terms of guys to sit, these guys are all rostered in 70 plus percent of leagues. And I'm just not sure they're worth starting in a weekly format. Duncan Robinson, I don't, he's not a must roster guy in my opinion, but he's still rostered in a lot of leagues. Andre Drummond, you know my thoughts on him. Uh, Aaron Gordon, just not a good uh, category league player in general. And I just think with the Nuggets playing only three games, you can sit him. And Precious Achua, he's fine to add. See how it goes. He's not a top 200 player so far this season. And I know they play four games this week, but he hurts your percentages so much. He doesn't offer any threes or assists. He just doesn't do enough for me to go, I'm locking him in for my weekly lineup. I'd like to see, I'd like to see him do a little bit more before I feel super comfortable about locking him into a lineup like that. But what you can lock in is that betonline.ag is the number one spot for you to place your basketball and football bets this season. They've got that new updated web interface. It looks very, very nice. So head to that new web, uh, website, betonline.ag. Use our promo code locked on, and you can get a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit from basketball, football, the World Series, NHL, boxing, UFC, right to your favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait. Take advantage of all of their promos for the 2021 season. Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports. Bet Online is where the game starts. And Built Bar, of course, is the best tasting protein bar ever. I am absolutely fanging 
for a built bar at the moment. They taste just like a candy bun. If you don't know what fangin means, go and look it up. Um, absolutely can't wait for, to get my new uh, shipment of built bars here. Raspberry, orange, strawberry, coconut, cookies and cream. But they're not just delicious. They're also healthy. 17 to 18 grams of protein, 130 to 180 calories, 4 to 5 grams of sugar, and 4 to 5 grams of net carbs. Built Bar is that delicious and healthy protein bar, and you can get them for 15% off. So head to built.com, use the promo code LOCKED15, and you can get your Built Bars for 15% off. Built Bar is the best tasting protein bar ever. On a completely um, related but weird note, this is how badly like Built Bar is getting an extra plug here. I had a dream last night that I was sitting at my dinner table and someone asked me, hey, can you just um, do the Built Bar ad read off the top of your hat- head? And I just sat there and did it. That was what my dream was. So Built Bar, you're in my head that much that I'm dreaming about your ad read and I recited it perfectly. Not that I'm reading that off a script. That's just all the points. And I'm, yeah, You can tell that I'm ad-libbing that. But I just did the ad read in my dream. So there you go. Anyway, those are good points leagues and some guys who are available in, in um, under 70% of leagues, or they're available, sorry, in 70% of leagues. Uh, sorry, 50% of leagues, my bad. Uh, for weak leagues, for points leagues. These guys should be rostered, most of these guys, in all points leagues. Terrence Mann, it's a good opportunity to add him this week, but he should be rostered. Franz Wagner, he should be rostered as well. Lonnie Walker. Hello. And his teammate, Devin Vassell. All these guys are great ads for this week, but I would argue that Wagner, probably man. And then probably Walker in a points league should be rostered regardless. But they're available in a lot of formats or a lot of leagues. So go and add them. In terms of players to sit for the week, Brook Lopez. Don't know if he's even going to be healthy, but sit him. Timmy Hardaway with only three games. Aaron Gordon with three games. And Seth Curry with only... What's he got? He's got four games, but he's not the greatest points league player. So I would uh, consider sitting Seth. That's it. The week three preview is in the books. Don't forget to follow this podcast, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and on the Odyssey app. But if you are here on YouTube, give me the old secret thumbs up. Drop your comments down below. Subscribe, follow, share, notification bell. You know how to do it. Guys, we're done here. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. See ya.